So, you downloaded Halo Infinite's multiplayer, and you've either never played Halo or it's been a long time since you booted it up. Now, you've quickly come to realize that you need a little extra help getting into the swing of things. So, you get on the internet, you start searching, and lo and behold, you come to this video. So, welcome, and I promise you that these simple tips and tricks will improve your gameplay and strats if you put them into practice. Obviously, these aren't going to make you a pro, nor are they going to be pro-level strats. And that's not a bad thing, because if you are looking for tips and tricks to get better right now, then you probably don't fit in that pro level anyways. Some things we are going to cover in this video are understanding game mechanics, map knowledge, things to add to your play style, and the biggest piece of advice I have when it comes to Halo. But I'm not going to tell you first off, because it's YouTube, and come on. Before we get started, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, it helps me out a ton, and if you want more Halo content, you can help me on the road to 10k subs by subbing to the channel. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, before we get into any real tips and tricks, we're going to talk about the Academy and training. The Academy is something that the Halo franchise has needed for a while, and to see it included in Infinite is a good sign of things to come. To put it simply, the Academy and training mode is where a player can go in, sharpen their aim, hone in sensitivity, and in training mode you can play against bots, learn the maps and power weapon spawns, warm up in a low stress environment, and basically learn the game of Halo without being stomped into the ground over and over and over and over and over again. So not only is it a good place for newcomers to learn the game, but veterans will also be able to utilize the space to practice, warm up, and learn new strategies. Something that has always stuck with me since the first time I played Halo 20 years ago was to avoid fights I know I could not win. I was terrible at the game back then, and I wasn't even a teenager yet, I would never really played played games online in a competitive manner. Somebody in the game actually realized this and gave me a bit of advice, and it was to never fight fairly. This advice improved my stats drastically and helped me become more confident in-game. This included pre-nading, team shotting, and running away from a fight that I would 100% lose. That last point may be a hard pill to swallow for some, but you can help yourself and your team by not giving the other team a kill, map control, and adding to possible tilt on your end. Something I do when playing by myself is I pick a player on my team and use them as a meat shield or for double damage. I stand a much better chance of survival in a 2v1 or a 2v2 situation even if I'm a below average player. Halo is a very team focused game and it doesn't have those insanely quick TTK or one shot abilities that other FPS games have right now. So use your teammates to your advantage and spend more time focusing on your positioning as this is a huge aspect of any Halo game. Positioning can keep you alive and in itself is almost as powerful as a sniper or rocket when used correctly. Also, use your grenades. Learn how to bounce them effectively. Often the difference between a loss or a win in a gunfight is a good grenade. A lot of people complain about nade spam and while I can appreciate that, it's ingrained in the Halo ecosystem and I don't foresee a Halo game where they aren't a key component to battle. Normally they're not powerful enough to just straight up kill you, but a well timed grenade in the beginning of a fight or a well-placed one while your opponent is trying to get his shields back behind cover will help you achieve victory. Halo Infinite has both removed and added new game mechanics, sending some of the advanced movement from Halo 5 to the grave and adding equipment back into the game. While it may seem daunting to learn everything in the game, the Academy once again offers a solution to this. You can guarantee yourself ample time to train with all the equipment, whether it's slinging yourself around the map like Spider-Man with the grapple shot, learning how to hit angles on the map for a little speed boost, learning repulsor jumps, and more. Halo may seem simple, but it offers multiple layers for a player to excel if they know how to game the system. Another important aspect is weapons on the map. Knowing power weapon spawns and using the timers can be crucial, and Infinite has also added weapon racks into the game for what I assume is a more middle tier weapon, and we will touch more on those in the next section of this video. Weapon racks offer some clues to when they will be up again on the battlefield, and these are important since they will be normally an upgrade over your starting weapons. When that rack is actually empty, it will offer an indicator of what weapon players can pick up the next time they sprint by. It will also come with a loading bar to let you know how much time until the weapon spawns up. And when it's red, it means it's currently on the field and there can't be more than one of them at the same time. They don't offer exact numbers on the spawn timers, but it's super easy to tell. Knowing the maps, the lines of sights, shortcuts, and where fights normally happen is a huge advantage. Power weapons give you an immediate upper hand in engagements, and while the sniper rifle may be more useful in a more competent player's hands, things like rockets can be used by any skill level and should be guaranteed kills. There are also some weapons that could be considered a tier below power weapons, but are super useful in engagements. Weapons like the Ravager, Needler, Bulldog, Heatwave, and the Sentinel Beam come to mind. 
Pick those weapons up because as long as you have them, your enemies don't. When you pick up the overshield or camo instead of it auto applying, it's put in your inventory to be used at your discretion. This means you must drop whatever you are carrying at the same time, so be careful. Knowing these different power-ups, equipment, and weapon spawns are just as important to map knowledge as knowing the lines of sight and angles you can get to have better positioning when engaging opponents. Positioning in Halo is an art and vastly underrated and underutilized by the player base. Now we're going to talk about some things that you can add to your playstyle that will give you a leg up on your opponents. If you can strafe and keep your aim, you will win basically against any new player or someone who doesn't even play FPS games that much. Once you get your strafing down, you can add bobbing and weaving, because if you can make your opponent miss, this gives you the upper hand even if you were shot first. Make sure you hide your head when retreating from a gunfight you can't win. That just means looking straight down and running around corners. There's also an AI scan that can help you find weapons on the map, and it's useful if you're trying to up your loadout without running around and not getting lucky on the spots you are hitting. That's going to do it for the video. I plan to have some more in-depth videos coming out ASAP, going into more details about the game and how you can improve your skills and strats as well. So again, if you learned anything or enjoyed the video, go ahead and throw me a sub, as we are on our grind to 10k, and I will catch you in the next video.